Hey everyone. 22nd March 1739 was a horrific day for the people of Delhi. Persian armies almost killed 30,000 innocent citizens on orders of a tyrant and a Persian ruler, Nadir Shah. The flashing sword of Nadir Shah swung to the instructions to start the massacre of the people of Delhi from Roshan ud Daula Masjid and tense emotion surfaced over his face which no one of his army could dare to break. His sword was a symbol of upcoming terror and horrific death by Persian army in the densely populated area of Delhi. The terror created by Nadir Shah was so grave that it became the most painful date in the Indian history. So today, let's know about Nadir Shah's destructions that made our capital city a living hell. Let's start the video, but before that, I request you to subscribe to the channel and like this video so that I can bring more exciting ones like this. 6 hours of bloodbath and plundering by Nadir Shah's army was recorded in Delhi history as black mourning for Delhi people and the same is recorded in the Tareek-e-Hind by Rustam Ali. The killing of 30,000 men, women and children were the gut-wrenching horror for people of Delhi, but it just started. Nadir Shah plundered 90 million euro taxation from poor people of Delhi. His army divided into 1000 cavalry for each district to collect loot and force plundering from every district close to it. It has been told that streets were full of blood and dead bodies. The area was under the enormous smell of decaying of bodies. Yamuna's cold water had become red by the blood of the beheaded body at its ghats. Many women had been brutally raped and their private parts were torn apart by swords. children were hanged on sword tip mutilated and even thrown from buildings many families who saw them coming committed mass suicide with their families for saving them from their tortures by the manic persian army beautiful women and minor girls were hunted for weeks and then raped by the groups of the army many were raped and killed over their families dead bodies children were forced to watch the rape of their mothers and sisters The horror of Nadir Shah was continued up to 6 hours constantly and plundering up to many weeks. This barbarian act broke the entire city and brought down hell. While looting, Nadir Shah also took away the Kohinoor and Darya-e Noor diamond from the then Mughal Empire Muhammad Shah's peacock throne which was so huge that he exempted the taxation for the common Persian public for 3 years. The battle of Karnal was a shameful defeat for Mughal king Muhammad Shah. His army knelt down in front of Nadir Shah within 3 hours. His loyal Sadat Khan also turned against him. Muhammad Shah, a person of high stature in Mughal kingdom, begged for mercy from Nadir Shah. Everything started with a pretext used by Nadir Shah to attack Mughal empire. Previously, Nadir Shah's army were dealing with mercenaries and looters of Afghan. However, Nadir Shah was later informed about the Mughal Empire and how slowly it was losing its charm. Nizamul Mulk, the governor of the Western Front of Mughal Empire, was incapable of capturing the Afghan mercenaries and wasn't aware of the number of these looters. The Mughals were not interested to solve these minor problems. One fine day, Nadir Shah started his journey for the attack on Mughal Empire. He was accompanied by the Gregorian armies as a token of loyalty to them. On the 16th of November 1739 he entered Lahore and the then governor simultaneously surrendered to Nadir Shah in exchange for money and a promise to be ruler of Lahore under his empire Muhammad Shah who was a then ruler of Mughal empire gathered a large force to fight it was said that almost 3 lakh men joined the fight with 3000 cannons and 200 war elephants Muhammad Shah fought with his two loyal army commander and chief advisor Khan Dauran and Nizam ul Mulk. On 20th March 1739, Nadir Shah army enters Delhi with Muhammad Shah as a captive. They imposed strict military rule and sent out his army to collect tax from local people. He increased sex slaves of Muhammad Shah's ministers to gain their faith. 
Saddat Khan, one of Muhammad Shah's loyal minister, was assigned to collect taxes for his new master. Nadir Shah later ridiculed him for not collecting taxes enough from people and Saddat Khan killed himself within few days of his arrival. On the 22nd of March 1739, when Nadir was going for the morning namaz, a gunfire crossed him, killing his royal bodyguard. From that same moment, he swung his sword from top of mosque Roshan Dola and ordered the massacre of Delhi people. The densely populated city became the victim of Nadir Shah's atrocities. His order took 30,000 life with raping of women, children and beheading of men. Nadir returned to Persia in the first week of May 1739. Until that time, his entire army continued to do tax collection and occasional killing and raping. The massacre was beyond explanation and dead bodies were all over the roads and every inch of Delhi was bleeding. Well, that's it for today. I hope you're liking Nerdy's discoveries. Can't wait for the next video to learn more and be fascinated about. See you on the next. Bye.